to Fast Men and Germans. I hope you enjoy the episode. Hello, Grogu of Coruscant here and welcome to my podcast episode. I'm going to be talking about some of my thoughts on the book of Boba Fett. It's a show that came out this year starring Tamara Morrison and Ming-Na Wen, also starring Pedro Pascal as the beloved Mandalorian. And yeah, let's begin. I am a huge fan of Tamara Morrison's Boba Fett. Uh, I just love him bringing something different to the floor. I think Tam deserves more screen time, but... From what Boba Fett gave us, I was just so glad that I get to see a different side to Boba Fett, but also understand his previous life as the fear bounty hunter, but it still keeps him at what he was really. So I just love Tem. I love Boba. Ming Na Wen is one of my favourite female actors in the Star Wars franchise. She has something that really appeals to me. I love that she represents her community so well. But Fennec Shan is someone who was actually grown him in. I just appreciate and love her a lot. Fennec in this series is like a true leader. And being there for Boba when he needs it. And plus that scene where she defeats all the baddies at the end in the final episode. Badass. Love it. It's such an amazing thing to see her do. And... I love Fennec. Din and Grogu's return was one of my favourite things about this series. Pedro Pascal and his main standards did a great job in bringing him back. I felt every word in the story of their reunion because it made it more worth it when they did. I'm so happy they're back together and I still think that last scene with Grogu and Din to go into hyperspace is a classic. I love um, Cad Bane in this because he was really a, a threat just like he was with, with Wounded Hunter and then being a threat to the Jedi I like the way that he does try to cause damage to the bad Jedi by injuring Cad Bane, but he survives just and at one point it looks like he is dominant against Boba Fett but the fact is He underestimates it, and that's what is his downfall. And I think that's what works for him as a character. I love the Pike Syndicate's role in this series because they're definitely dangerous. And it is so frustrating to watch them do their dirty work. And you kind of feel bad for the Rickers because they deserve so much. Especially, like, when the Tossum Raiders are found dead, but you don't know who they are. And it's there for to be the post by CAD. And if you feel sad for him, and at least it kind of, Boba kind of gets his revenge at the end, but they're definitely great threats in the final two episodes, in my opinion. They need to kill poor Aqua Santin, and they end up killing the poor Gamoran guards. RFP Gamoran guards, you defended. Must as well, and yeah, but the defeat by the good guys is so good. I love the Tuscan Raiders because they brought something different to this show, and I understand what Boba had learned from them to now to move forward to his ascent as the Dami of Master Spell. I love. The chemistry with the little child who idolizes him, and of course the leader of the tribe. And it's sad when they get killed off because they kind of save Boba from a bad fate. But at least they kind of get avenged later on in the series. But they deserve a lot of love and appreciation because they were written beautifully. I feel like there's a group of people in the show that I relate to and they are the mods. I just love them. I find them amazing. I find them relatable and 
I just enjoy them and they have a good role in the series and it's just nice to be represented in, in a franchise like the Moth. So it is a great thing that they've included and played by brilliant actors and actresses as well. I love the whole storyline and it really works for me because I like the mix in the first episodes with with Boba's past and then his present, but then moving forward, matching what the present day, and it really becomes very interesting when you get to the later stage, and I think everything leads to the finale, and it just ends in high with the bodies being defeated, Boba staying in power, and also Dylan Grogu's reunion, because there's just something amazing about it and the family between the Damio and the Gotra, it really works well. The chemistry between Tim and Mingna is one of the best things about the series. I feel for Boba, I feel for Fenny. When they come together, they're just a new double act that I've been waiting for and they're darker, they're part of a uh, criminal empire they're in charge of Tatooine and stuff but that's what makes them stand out because of the criminal activity they do and that's why the series stands out differently to everything else I love the comedy value in this series because there's this one character the mayor's major drama who is such an absolute laugh and I just enjoy his entertainment. He just it just makes it really funny and I just think it's just so hilarious to laugh and what because he does come across as wimpy but he does have some good points and his interjections are just comical. I think Robo's kind of had enough of it <laughs> sometimes but because he's no nonsense but we need the comedy for and the major drama brings it to us. <laughs> My favourite episode would probably be The Gathering Storm because it's an episode I watch a lot and I like the way it establishes how Bob and Fennec meet and how Fennec was saved after her near-death experience. I just think Tim and Mina bring a lot into the episode and plus we see them together in the present day and it's just one of the most beautiful ones when you look at the fact that they all are very similar and both want something different and but want to be smarter than the ones that have got them into trouble in the past. My favourite scene of the entire show has to be when Din and Grogu reunite in Moss Espa because it's one of the more beautiful moments and the enjoyment and the love for both of them makes a lot worthwhile and also it's Pila who is the one who delivers him also has a special sentiment so I just love it but there's so many good scenes in that series but for me that's my favorite one my question for you is what do you think of the book of Bob Fett do you enjoy it or do you think it could have been written a lot better please comment to Buzz and Twitter and YouTube channels. Also, you can answer the Q&A on Spotify. I'm looking forward to reading your thoughts and hopefully we can get a good conversation and chat a bit more. My next episode will be centered on The Power of the Doctor, which will broadcast on Sunday the 23rd of October, 2022. I will be talking all about George Rick and Manic Gill, of course, at uh, Fasmin. Sasha Darwin as the master, Tegan and Ace, Janet and Sophie, of course, and if he's in it, I might be giving my thoughts on David Tent's return, only if he's in it. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on the book of Boba Fett, and I'll see you next time for some Power of the Doctor love. Bye, guys.
Thank you for listening to the podcast. Subscribe to Fast